Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Before Speaker Pelosi announced the impeachment inquiry 10 weeks ago on September 24th, before the call between President Trump and President Zelensky on July 25th, before the Mueller hearing in front of this committee on July 24th, before all that, 16 of them had already voted to move forward on impeachment. 16 Democrats on the Judiciary Committee had already voted to move forward on impeachment, yet today we're talking about whether the positions they've already taken are constitutional? Seems a little backward to me. I mean, we can't, we can't get agreement. I mean, we got four, four Democrats or four people who voted for Clinton, and they can't agree. Yet today, we're talking about the Constitution. Now, Professor Turley, you've been, you've been great today, but I think you were wrong on one thing. You said this is, a, this is a fast impeachment. I would argue it's not a fast impeachment. It's a predetermined impeachment. Predetermined impeachment done in the most unfair partisan fashion we have ever seen. No subpoena power for Republicans. Depositions done in secret in the bunker in the basement of the Capitol. 17 people come in for those depositions. No one can be in there except a handful of folks that Adam Schiff allowed in those depositions. Chairman Schiff prevented witnesses from answering Republican questions. Every Democrat question got answered. Not every Republican question. Democrats denied Republicans the witnesses we wanted in the open hearings that took place three weeks ago. And of course, Democrats promised us the whistleblower would testify and then change their mind. And they changed their mind, why? Because the whole world discovered that Adam Schiff's staff had, had talked to the whistleblower, coordinated with the whistleblower, the whistleblower with no firsthand knowledge, biased against the president who worked with Joe Biden, whose lawyer in January of 17 said the impeachment process starts then. That's the unfair process we've been through. And the reason it's been unfair, let me just cut to the chase. The reason it's been unfair is because the facts aren't on their side. The facts are on the president's side. Four key facts will not change, have not changed, will never change. We have the transcript. There was no quid pro quo on the transcript. The two guys on the call, President Trump and President Zelensky, both said no pressure, no pushing, no quid pro quo. The Ukrainians, third, didn't know that the aid was held up at the time of the phone call. And fourth, and most important, the Ukrainians never started, never promised to start, and never announced an investigation in the time that the aid was paused. Never once. But you know what did happen in those 55 days that the aid was paused? There were five key meetings between President Zelensky and senior officials in our government. Five key meetings. We had the call on July 25th. The very next day, July 26th, we had Ambassador Volker, Taylor, and Sondland meet with President Zelensky in Kyiv. We then had Ambassador Bolton, end of August, meet with President Zelensky. We then had the Vice President meet with President Zelensky on September 1st, and we had two senators, Republican and, more importantly, Democrat Senator Murphy with Republican Senator Johnson meet with President Zelensky on September 5th. None of those five meetings, none of those five meetings was aid ever discussed in exchange for an announcement of an investigation into anybody. Not one of them. And you would think the last two, after the Ukrainians did know the aid was being held, you would think it would come up then. Particularly the one where you got Senator Murphy, the Democrat, there talking about it. Never came up. The facts are on the President's side. But we got an unfair process, because they don't have the facts. We got an unfair process, most importantly. And this gets to something else you said, Mr. Turley. And this is scary. How mad the country, I mean, that was so well said. This is scary. The Democrats have never accepted the will of the American people. To Mr. Turley's point, 17 days ago, 17 days ago, the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives called the President of the United States an imposter. The guy 63 million Americans voted for who won an Electoral College landslide, the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives called that individual an imposter. That is not healthy for our country. This is not healthy. The facts are the facts. They are on the President's side. That's what we need to focus on, not some constitutional hearing at the end of the process when you guys have already determined where you're going to go. With that, I yield back. The gentleman yields.